So, in the previous class we seen the division due to wave front two more examples we have seen already we have covered Young's double slit experiment, Fresnel's bipris and Billet's split lens interferometry. Now, let us see Lloyd's single mirror. Here also we use the division of wave front to see the fringe pattern. So, a plane mirror is taken. This is a plane mirror and a point source at a very small distance above just above the plane mirror is taken. So, what happens a ray which gets reflected here and you consider one more ray this this s dash is the image of s in the plane mirror this ray gets reflected and this is our screen. So, you see this plane mirror forms a virtual image of s at s dash. Now, you can consider s as s 1 slit and s 2 as another source. So, on this screen we get an interference pattern. So, the whole screen whole screen is illuminated by a direct wave front and this wave front this reflected wave front reaches here. So, this is the region where we will get interference pattern interference pattern. Now, suppose this distance is assumed to be x this distance will be x. So, our s s dash becomes 2 x this distance between them is d. So, fringe width beta becomes lambda d by d that is lambda d by 2 x. So, this is similar the fringe width beta is similar to the fringe width formed in YDAC experiment, but there is a difference the difference is that when this wave is reflected from this mirror a mirror acts as a denser medium. So, there is a phase shift of pi. So, since there is a phase shift of pi. So, the locations here where the geometrical path difference is n lambda there there will be darkness minima and where the path difference is 2 n plus 1 lambda by 2 there will be constructive interference. Let us see in detail. Now, you see this is my plane mirror and this is the source and this is my screen. So, a at any point p the wave from directly from s that can come and another wave that is reflected wave which can come from this place s dash. So, my s acts as slit s 1 s dash acts as slit s 2. Now, in Young's double slit experiment at p the wave directly reaches from here and directly reaches from here and so there is here constructive and destructive interference. But here this wave is not directly reaching, but this is the geometrical path which is equal to this, but here there is a phase shift of pi. So, that is why so at the locations so at the locations at the locations where the geometrical path difference geometrical path difference is n lambda then destructive interference takes place here n is integral values integral values and where path difference difference is 2 n plus 1 lambda by 2 where n is 0 1 2 3 4 n lambda then constructive interference takes place. 
So, this is similar to your YDS experiment. The only difference is there is a phase shift of pi taking place here. So, in comparison with the YDSE experiment, the locations where there was previously maxima in YDSE, here there will be nima. Now, if this is this is screen is close to the mirror, then here there will be darkness because in YDSE here there will be central maxima, but here it will be a minima. So, thus we have seen that different cases of interference due to division of wavefront. Now, we will see in next class we will see the interference due to division of amplitudes, where we are going to explain the color of thin films, Newton's ring, etcetera.